welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Jenna thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and hopefully it helps you out today I'll be sharing with you a review on my Canada Goose Shelburne parka I would love it if you liked and subscribed down below if you want I post every single Tuesdays so this week in Toronto it snowed and you know what you know what week it is it's the first week of November I think I swear it's like the earliest time it snowed for a really long time and we're all just really really confused I haven't even changed into my winter tires yet and that day it snowed or that night it snowed I couldn't even get out of my driveway to go to work the next morning so I had to take my mom's car because it was for a real drive. So that's why I'm posting this video a little earlier, like in November, just so you think about it and it helps you make a decision. Also, I went to Yorkdale last weekend and there was a huge line at Canada de Goose. And that's when you know it's winter. <laughs> So I got this jacket, I think either November or December of last year. I don't remember what month it was, but it was last year. So this whole week I've been writing down some pros, cons, things I've noticed. I wrote it down on my laptop if I'm looking down, that is why. Hopefully I don't miss anything and I will put some timestamps down below if you want to skip through some sections. So let's get started. So I got my Shelburne parka in the size extra extra small in fusion fit. I am only 4'10 and that is basically the smallest of the small. <laughs> Fusion fit just basically means it is two inches shorter in the sleeves and also shorter in the thigh area. I got this particular jacket because it was my last year of university this past year and I went to school downtown at the University of Toronto. Since I commuted back and forth from my house to my school, I wanted something a little warmer so I didn't have to freeze every time I walked back and forth from my subway to my school school and since I am so small I needed something that would fit me very nicely and that would hug me in the right places and this just made the cut you know I've also tried other styles but it didn't look as nice on my body frame so I didn't end up getting those ones but the main reason I got this jacket was because I took a screenshot of the same jacket two years ago and it went up in price last year and I was like okay I am not going to pay over a thousand dollars Canadian for this jacket so I better get it now or else I'll never get it so I got it which I'm glad I did because this year it did go up in price I actually wanted to get the black label because they do have one that's all black and it's not like the original like red one that you always see because I'm not too fond of like showing off my labels especially like if it's a luxury or a designer but they didn't have infusion fit so you know I couldn't get it so I just learned to accept it and actually the first couple of times I wore it I was really really self-conscious because I thought like in my brain I was like oh no people are gonna judge me people are gonna look at me but over time I just tried to like move past my thoughts and I just wore it and loved it and also so many people have designer luxury jackets now in Toronto you see them everywhere so it's not uncommon and there are a lot of people that have way more expensive jackets than Canada Goose so I just learned to accept it <laughs> so the features of this jacket i'm just gonna read it off of the website it is water resistant wind resistant it has a removable fur which is great for storage because i don't want the fur to get squished when i'm not using it for the summer it has 625 fill powder white duck down it has a quilt through design it has interior backpack straps and the chin guard is lined with tricot fabric it has exterior cuffs that are adjustable with snap button closure while the inside cuffs lock in heat. So the pros, in my opinion, it is very very warm. I only need a thin layer if it's not too cold outside or if I'm just going in and out of my car. If it's really cold, of course you're gonna layer up, put a sweater on and then wear the jacket. There are many 
many different styles and sizes. Again, there's Fusion Fit. It goes from extra, extra small to extra, extra large. Or just the regular size. It goes from extra, extra small to extra, extra large. I did try on the regular size extra, extra small, but the sleeves were too long. The length was good but the sleeves were just a little long. So I went with the Fusion Fit. So I never liked inside pockets until I got this one. I love this inside pocket. Of course, if you put stuff inside, it will feel weird because your boob is right there. But if I want to leave the house or go out for dinner for a little bit, I need to have hand cream and lip balm. Besides my keys and my wallet and my phone, those two are the things that I really, really need. And I just put those in my pockets. It is perfect. So with the Shelburne parka, you have an option to buy without the fur or with the fur. I got it with the fur because it actually really, really makes a difference when your hood is on or even if it's off. The fur actually blocks a lot of the wind from your head because if you put the hood higher, the fur just sits here and a lot of the wind just goes past right here and it's amazing. I absolutely really, really like it. The hood also comes further out than normal hoods so it really blocks your face from the wind as well. Another thing I really like about the fur is that there's the wire inside so you can bend it so it hugs more of your face. And speaking of the hood, you can adjust the hood to have the fur a little lower. I've seen people wear them or you can just have it higher like how I do and you can cinch in the back so it's a little smaller. So having the two zippers is really, really nice because if you're sitting down in a car, on a subway, on, on the bus, you can unzip the bottom zipper and it feels a lot nicer to sit. You're not like super closed in in your jacket. You can just like free up your legs a little bit. The thing I like about my jacket is the buttons. I like the buttons because even if I don't pop it in and do it up, it still looks polished and it won't get as dirty as let's say Velcro. In the pockets inside, oh my gosh, they are so, so warm. They're lined with this like fleece microfiber lining. I don't know what it is I and mean, it doesn't say on the website, but I can just put my hands in it. I don't need gloves. And if I do wear gloves, I can't put it inside. Like if I take off my gloves, I can't put it inside because it, it is really, really tight. It's only meant for your hands basically. So the cons for me for this jacket are the backpack straps. Some people really like them and swear by them, but I on the other hand, I don't really like them. It just gets in the way. So if I put my arms into the sleeves, um, the backpack straps, they just like go inside the sleeve and I can feel them on my arms and I don't like it. So I often have to like put my hand inside and like bring it down so it's where my back is and it lies flat kind of thing. Yeah, I don't really like it. I used it once while I was shopping and it felt like it was going to touch the floor, which I know it won't. Also, I had my purse with me too. So... I had to hold my purse and then put my straps on. This is really, really cumbersome. So usually when I go shopping, I leave my jacket in the car because there's underground parking now. Yeah, I don't really take my jacket inside shopping anyways. And the second con I have is, of course, the price. Who really wants to spend more than $1,000 for a jacket? But if it's something you are interested in and something that you want to invest in, then I say totally go for it because if you are commuting, um, if you're walking a lot, if you are outside a lot, you need a warm jacket or else you'll get sick. So I do recommend this jacket, even though it's expensive. So like I said, because I had to commute, that's why I bought the jacket in the first place. But now I'm a teacher at a Montessori and because they do have outdoor recess, I do have to monitor them. So I am outside for a long period of time. So that's why it is worth it for me as well. Okay, so for the tips I have for you, is try not to wear your jacket in the rain. Like I know it is water resistant, but it's not waterproof. Because it has the duck down, it will feel very moist inside and it's just, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be nice. And if it does get wet, just try to air it out a little bit before you hang it up. So since the jackets are basically made the same, you want to look for the jacket that has the best 
prefer, especially the middle part because that's where you are leaning back the most. So like I mentioned before, I tried on a bunch of different styles and a bunch of different jackets before purchasing mine. I've seen some fur that are really compressed and all the fur is like coming off and that's probably because everyone else is trying it but if you can ask for a new one or something from the back. I think I just got lucky with mine because I'm pretty sure mine size and style was the last one in Toronto. My fur just looks really nice and I want to just keep it like that so that's why whenever I store it I take off the fur before hanging it in my closet. So things I've noticed about wearing my jacket, I tend to hunch forward when I wear my jacket especially in the car because I don't want to ruin the fur so because I'm like leaning back and driving I might ruin my fur so I have to always remind myself to lift up my fur and then kind of sit back yes I think about these things because I want my things to look really nice for a really long time and I want my fur and my jacket to look polished or else it won't look good so I hope you enjoyed this video and found this helpful. Hopefully it has helped you make a decision to buy or not buying a, a goose jacket. And I would love to know what jacket you're planning on getting this year or what jacket you have this year and if you like your Canada Goose jackets or any other jacket. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!